All right, everybody. Hey, welcome to another edition of Game Time. I'm your host, Bill Culp, and today, you know, we're talking tennis. A lot of love here. Why do we got a lot of love? Because they're the state champs. Champions. Oh, you guys need belts or something like that. Yeah, it's it, Olsen. You don't be afraid to dance and celebrate. All right, so the state champions. So, Coach Reagan, how excited are you? You got that on your resume now, state champions. Uh, I think uh, I think it's really cool. I think it's really awesome. I thought it was awesome to see all the support we had. Um, you got to give it credit. I mean, these kids are unbelievable. Um, they're resilient. They're tough. They're obviously great tennis players. They're smart. Um, but really, I mean, we knew they, we knew all those things. That, that wasn't the shocking part. We knew how good they were. We knew that they had the potential of doing something special. Obviously, this was probably beyond our dreams. I, don't, I think if any of these 11 girls told you at the beginning of the year their eyes were on the state championship, I know they'd be lying to you. I, I don't <laughs> think that was on our radar, and it just kind of happened quickly. But really, I think the, the shocking thing is just all the support from the community, you know, having – Coming back, it was a great trip back on the bus. Um, Coach Stano pointed out all the fire trucks sitting down at Spring City <laughs> Diner, and the kids were like, oh, man, what happened? Is everybody okay? And then Coach Stano goes, no, those, they're there for you. They're going to they're gonna take you home, and they were – they were pretty excited. And then getting back to school and seeing everybody that was there are, you know, so many uh, friends, uh, family, uh, teachers came out, principals came out. Um, it was really great to see, you know, that little bit of, uh, of everybody, you know, recognizing the hard work of these kids and, and wanting to give them something special. Um, and we greatly appreciate uh, all the fire companies coming out yeah. and the police departments. They really gave these kids the welcome that they deserved for all their hard work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can hear it across the town because somebody we got uh, wind, you know, of course, it, it went rampant on Facebook and they said you were getting the, uh, the, the thing. So even out here where I live, you could hear, uh, you know, the, the, the sirens and things like that. So that's awesome. All right. So Coach Dano, talk us through what, what, what did it look like? What led up? Who'd you play in the semifinals, the states, all the way up to states? Who'd you guys then defeat into states? So we played Southern Lehigh in the semifinals. Um, and we won uh, 4-0 officially, but Katie was um, winning her match when they called the match um, since we had already won and with the time restraints, like with yeah. all the, the um, COVID things going on and all the precautions they had to take. So they called that one, but we were leading her match too. So I would say it was a 5-0 win. I'll take that. But, um, and then in the finals, we played Greater Latrobe. Um, and we won them where we won that one with a three, two win. So, um, right. Mia pulled out a win in that final match. Um, Emily and Lucy, as well as Evelyn and Alexis, and then Isabel and Katie, they had some tough matches in that round. So, but they played, you know, they, they were part of the reason we were there. So we'll take it. Yeah. That's and awesome. I I'm going to jump in there, Mr. Culp, because I, I went I went digging for a little bit more information because I like to be prepared anytime Mr. Culp interviews me. I know some of you kids may have known Mr. Culp in class, but you always got to be ready for anything. So I went digging because Greater Latrobe really hasn't been a name in state tennis in the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. So I went to see and, and I and I knew you were going to ask where what's this team yeah. about, where they come from. Well, I could tell you maybe a little bit about Latrobe, but no, not, not that not part the kids. about. It. <laughs> Yeah, not that part of Latrobe, but Greater gotcha. Latrobe has defeated. So the last 20 years before we won, so the 20 years before we won this year's state title, District 7, which is the Pittsburgh suburbs, they call it the Whippeal out there. They don't believe in calling it District 7. They call it the Whippeal, Western Pennsylvania Interscholastic Athletic League. So the Whippeal out there, they had 16 state champions out of the last 20. So District 7s best awesome. won the state championship 16 of the last 20 years so district seven is always tough to handle now five different schools in district seven have won the state championship and latro beat three of those five on their way to the district seven championship this year they beat shady side academy which has won the state championship twice in the last 20 years they beat peters township this year They've won four state titles in the last 20 years, and they beat Upper St. Clair, which has won three state titles in the last 20 years. Yeah, I mean, you, you talk about that. I was going to ask you there, Coach, right? You, you can't – you're used to playing the, 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 the girls 
uh, you know, the teams around here, how did you prepare? How could, how did you guys prepare for the team coming in, like not knowing anything about, about Latrobe or anybody else? Well, we, we got, we got some smart kids. Mr. Culp, and we we have some kids that have, have played. Actually, Mia, she played uh, her girl Jenna Bell, the girl she faced in the state championship. She actually played her this summer. Um, so we have some kids that play a lot of tennis that have seen some of these kids before. And we call in some favors. We asked some District One coaches. We got a lot of friends around <laughs> District One that have uh, gave us some scouting reports on different nice. things. So we we. Uh, it's not like you have film like maybe in a basketball game or a football game, but yeah. uh, we have some information garnered from friends and, and our athletes. And, um, but we knew if Latrobe was able to get through those tough, tough schools, win the Whippeal, we knew that uh, they were going to be a team that we would have to play our best. And, and that's what we said on the bus. I think these girls will tell you. We, we knew the four teams up there. No, there was no one we couldn't beat if we played well. Mm-hmm. And there was no one we were going to beat if we didn't play well. We knew we'd have to play our best. And these kids, you know what? They went out and they did it. They did awesome. Obviously, they did awesome. All right, so seniors, raise your hands. Those seniors. All there right. we go. We got four of them. See if it, way to raise it real high. All right, so Nicole, you got Lucy there. And Emily, who's our fourth one there? Ah, oh, there, Alyssa. All right, so seniors, what? To, uh, let's go all the way back to the beginning of the season. All right. So without the start, when when did you guys or let's say this, when did you guys maybe sort of have a feeling that, hey, we got a shot at a state title? So go ahead, Lucy. What do you think? Um, I don't know. Honestly, like tryouts, I saw all these like crazy good freshmen and <laughs> I didn't know how good they were. Like compared to the rest of the team, they were like insane but I didn't know how good they were compared to the rest of tennis. Yeah. So I think it didn't click how good as a team we were until we were like running for the district championship. And then yeah. after we won the districts, I'm like, we have a shot at States. Like let's get the States too. <laughs> All right. That's awesome. What about you, Alyssa? When did you get a feeling like, Hey, we could do this. I agree with Lucy. Like when we first came in with tryouts, like I saw them all come in and I was like, Whoa, like this is going to be a great team this year. And then, like, as we kept winning, like, packs and then districts, and then we finally made it to states, I was like, wow. Like, we got a shot with, like, how talented the team is. It was just, like, amazing to see it. Gotcha. All right. Beautiful. All right. Go ahead there, Lana. What did you think? Or oh, you're not a senior. Sorry, Emily. Emily. <laughs> um. Yeah, I was pretty much thinking the same thing, like, the tryouts, and then we won the packs. And once we got to districts, we're like, yeah, this competition's going to be better than the pack and it'll be tougher. And then we won that. And then we're, and then pretty much what everyone else said, like get to the States. And then we won that. And it was just really exciting. All right. So Nicole, they said they had a feeling right off the bat. They saw these freshmen coming in. Did you say to yourself, I'm going to squash these freshmen. I'm going to put them in their place. Or do you accept them with open arms? Well, the first day of trials, I was, I agree. I was like, whoa, these people are <laughs> insane. But no, I mean, I agree. Like we, we made it through packs pretty easily. And once we got to Wissahickon for the district championship and we won that, I was like, I think we can go all the way. Like I had full faith in everyone. Gotcha. All right. So Lana, what did you, you know, what did you think in a sense after you know the, the tryouts and this and that the season because literally I just talked to coach Reagan a couple of weeks ago and the season started and it's almost you guys just you went through the pack played those in the districts and then of course uh you know went on and through states I mean how fast did it seem to go to you it was definitely a lot faster than last year only yeah. because not all the teams were like in the league this year so like the matches we didn't have the same amount as we did last year and I feel like it just it just it did go really fast and I kind of wish it lasted longer but <laughs> um, with COVID and everything it was really hard but I'm glad we also got to play yeah it's it's amazing you think even as short as it is you, I mean it's, it's you can't beat a state title yeah obviously you'd love uh to come back and and defend and things like that all right so um Chloe what, what grade are you in I'm a freshman. Oh, you're a freshman. So you're one of those freshman phenoms that came in practice. I believe it's Evelyn and her sister Isabella too, right? All right. So 
what did you feel? Did you did you know a lot of the upperclassmen and, and the girls on the team before you kind of came in? And who? I knew Mia because and Evelyn and Isabel and Katie, like <laughs> and Alexis. I knew like well, all the. Chloe's pretty popular. She knows a lot yeah, of people. <laughs> You're the in girl. That's good. All right. So you, now, what did you feel uh, coming in? Did you did you kind of like have a sense that, wow, we got a really good team, you know, as a freshman? Or did you think to yourself, well, we got a good team, but, you know, it's going to be even better the next year and things like that? What were you thinking? Well, I knew like a lot of the freshmen were really good this year. And I didn't really know anybody, like any of the juniors or seniors. But like during tryouts, I saw that they were really good, too. So. Gotcha. All right. All right. I appreciate that. All right. So Evan Lynn and Isabel, I'm going to talk to both sisters here. All right. So you guys are incoming freshmen and this and that. Now, um, is it tough being siblings and playing on the same team? I mean, as competitive as you guys are, is it? So Evelyn, I'll start with you. Is it, is it, is it more positive to have your sister there or do you every once in a while just say, just stare at her at dinner and just go, mm, I can't wait till practice. I'm just going to swat. <laughs> so what do you think, Evelyn? Um, well, I'm a freshman, but Isabel's actually a junior. Oh, look at that. Sorry. All right, go ahead. Um, so like at practice, like recreational tennis, we're always like playing with each other and playing against each other so that like we already are used to that. And we also played like practice doubles together. So I think that, you know, it's never a competition between us. It's just being together and enjoying the sport. Oh, that's good. All right. So Isabel, you're the older sister. Where, uh, do you think your medal is going to get in a more prominent spot in the house than your sister's? Um. Yeah. Well, I don't know. So like <laughs> I've already been on the team for two years. So I had like my own separate thing. Yeah. And then once she joined the team, it was actually like really nice to have her and like practice with her and, yeah, we tried not to fight that much, but it was actually pretty enjoyable <laughs> being on the team with her. That's good. Maybe I should ask some of the other girls how you guys got along. All right, so so Mia, uh, you you go to the the state championship. You get you get to that point. What what kind of pressure what, were you guys? Were you ever in like an awe? Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're in the state title. I mean, what were you feeling at that point? Um, I was. Definitely, like, I was really excited for us and for the team because we were all, like, we couldn't believe that we had, like, made it this far and we were so, like, hyped to win. Like, we really wanted to win. Um, personally, I was pretty nervous because I wanted to, like, pull my weight and win. Mm. So, like, to help the team. Um, but, you know, I just, I just had to stay relaxed and that's, it worked out that way, so... <laughs> That's awesome. All right, Katie, can you hear me? Yeah. All right, Katie, good question for you here. All right. So real quickly, uh, you know, like she said, keeping up and, and, and being on her own, what's probably the most enjoyable thing in this short season for you? What, what did you enjoy the most? Was it, I mean, because obviously you seem, you can't win a state championship without camaraderie. So was it the practices you enjoyed was it the bus rides? I mean, what, what did you enjoy most about this season? Um, the bus rides are always, like, really fun to just hang out with the team. Yeah, what, what are some of the things on the bus? I mean, is it, is it anything you weren't I, talking about him, were you? Oh, Katie just doesn't let me, you know, participate in any of the fun activities on the bus ride. She's afraid of my video gaming skills. Right, Katie? Yep. <laughs> Yeah, she's like, yep. Yeah. All right, so uh, Lucy and Emily, just, you know, kind of, we know, you, you know, a lot of us know you play basketball. Uh, you know, you guys are on a, a good basketball team. Did it, did it ever, like, did you honestly think before maybe the season, this is going to be your, like, your first state title while in high school? Girls, he said first state title, so we still have an opening for a second one here. Correct. <laughs> Uh, yeah, personally for me, no, I didn't. Like, I never even thought about it, to be honest. Uh, I wish I did because it was so much fun. But <laughs> yeah, I was just, I just really wanted the basketball one. I never really thought about the tennis one, but I'm really glad we got it. And yeah. 
yeah, I'm really excited. Hopefully we get a second one. What about you there, Tiffin? Yeah, I never, like, we always thought about basketball. It's, like, always a goal for us every year. And love playing tennis. I just never thought of it as, like, we'd get that far. And then, especially because me and Lucy were a part of it this year. Or I was. um, Because Lucy was on varsity last year, too. It was really cool. And hopefully we get the basketball one, too. All right. So I'm going to go to, you know, uh, you know, Lana real quick. And then some of the, I'll, I'll ask the same question as some of the underclassmen. Do you feel maybe now, like you guys got to be on the map now, like, you know, like coach said, Latrobe and they made a name for themselves. Springford's on the map now and you got to stay title. So do you sort of feel a little bit like, you know, I can't wait until next year. And I'll ask the, you know, some of the freshmen and this and that, like, Hey, we, I, like coach said, it's even next year, you probably, you have a legitimate shot. Yeah, especially because, like, since our team is really young this year, like, all of the underclassmen, they're still going to be here for the next three years. So, like, I feel like we still definitely have a chance to win next year and maybe even the year after that, too. Gotcha. What about you, Ev- Evelyn? Um, Like, obviously, I, like, want to keep, like, going for this. It's, it's definitely a goal now. Um, and the thing with other teams is usually – the team the varsity team like consists of like seniors and the thing for our team is that we have you know mostly freshmen and then we also have some juniors and sophomores um and then we have um lucy and tiff but like the fact that we have like younger people that could like make their way up is is cool to um keep winning Gotcha. All right. Isabel, like, do you, do you feel like winning a state title maybe is going to attract more girls to the tennis team next year? Like, Hey, listen, you know, somebody like, I'm not saying me because coach Reagan knows I'm a phenomenal athlete, but I'm saying just your regular Joe who might just say, you know what, I want to, I want to be a part of this team. It, you know, they got a chance at a state title. Do you think this might be a boost for, for girls tennis? Um, I actually think it will give like more recognition to the team because I feel like me and like a lot of the other team players on the tennis team always thought like, oh, no one really like paid attention. Like, I mean, like when we went to districts, I feel like last year when we won the pack last year, like the school or like no one, like none of the school people actually like knew. So I feel like that will definitely like give us more recognition and then maybe some of the other girls that haven't tried out before might try out because they want to be a part of our team gotcha all right alexis what do you think like next year do you think for instance uh there's a possibility you get like new courts you get state champ emblem in the in the center there nice beautiful macadam with the with a banner outside i mean are you hoping for that next year alexis yeah, that would be really nice to have. <laughs> <laughs> like, what about your uniforms? Get like gold uniforms or something like that. <laughs> like something, you know, like like Isabel's just saying that, you know, again, winning a state title, maybe you get a little bit more of that that venue, you know, a little bit more of that money uh, coming from the school district. Like, hey, listen, these girls just want to stay title. What do you think about that, Alexis? I mean, hopefully that's a possibility. <laughs> I think it really does bring a lot more recognition to the tennis team. Gotcha. Yeah, it definitely will. All right. So, Nicole, hey girls, I mean, you're, hey, you're you a senior. That. Mr. Culp just agreed to make a big donation to our Booster Club account. Yes, no doubt about I, it. I'm loaded. Everybody say thanks, Mr. Culp. You, you, thank you. You got it. Nicole, I never open my wallet, number one, ever. <laughs> but maybe for the tennis, I would. I love tennis, so I would. I probably would do that. I, I do that. All right. So, Nicole – leaving uh you know the, the senior year i mean how sweet you know your senior how sweet is this the beginning of your year with everything going on and of course you're being online and this and that does it kind of give you a little bit of pep in your step knowing that you're going to be going back uh to school in a little bit and make the senior year taste that much sweeter oh definitely i thought it was just super cool and like <laughs> such a positive that we could even play tennis let alone to play and get a state championship I just think it's like the cherry on top as coach put it before the match gotcha all right and coach uh Stana do you think that you know it do you think it really mattered if 
you know, with COVID and all this and, you know, the quick season, or do you really think that this team was just destined to win the state title? I think we have a pretty special group right here. So, um, and I think that no matter who was playing, we were right there at the top. So, um, you know, it made things tough. It made things challenging at times. Um, we might not have played the number of schools that we typically would, but we played the top schools, you know, in the state and we beat them. So I, I say it's, um, it's a championship no matter what. Yeah, no, it definitely is. All right. It's Coach Karen. Is that all right? Yes. All right. Hey, doing Coach Karen. Welcome. Good. Um, yeah, I know you were, you were out doing your civic duty there, uh, probably voting. So that's a good thing. All right. So talk about the season. When did you as a, a, a coach kind of notice that these girls are really good? We got a shot here. Well, right from the start, they were just a talented group of kids. Uh, and I think it was the team camaraderie that really brought everybody together and brought the the big win. But I, I think, like I, like the girls said, just from the packs, you know, we won the packs and then it was like, all right, what's the next step? The district. So we just, our goal was just to get through the first round of districts. And once we did that, we just kept going through. And I think uh, I'm still in shock that we won the state. I, you know, I, I believe in the girls, the girls are been amazing all season, uh, but it was just, wow. I can't believe it. It happened. And, uh, they, they are, they are a very special group. So they have a, they're going to do well the next few years. All right. That's awesome. And so, you know, to every girl here, I mean, do you guys feel bad with the boys season in the spring that they, they got all this pressure on them? Are they going to have a shot at a, a, are you going to like stick it in their face, like walk around during (laughs) the matches and just say, you know, hold the medal up, state, state champs, state champs. (laughs) I mean, what do you girls think about that? Anybody? Alyssa, what do you think? Think the boys got pressure on them? I mean, they definitely got a lot to live up to now as we won the state championships. <laughs> I'd, I'd say they have a lot of pressure on them right now. All right. So, Coach Reagan, in, in continuing with the pressure, I mean, do you feel uh, – are, are you sort of already, I guess in a sense, are you just gasping in, hey, we just won a state title, or are you already kind of thinking, let's make it two? No. Yes, no, and in the middle, no. I mean, it all it all starts at the beginning. It all starts with preparation. These kids know it. They uh, they know with their game, they have to do all that's necessary to get themselves ready to perform at their best. And so for us, actually, we were we were riding back in the bus right before the deer ran in front of the road that scared the you know life out of us here as we were coming back through O and J there. Um, but Coach Canuso was asking me. She's like, "What are you thinking about?" And I'm like. I was actually thinking about how we're going to do tryouts next year. You know, like your, your brain starts at the beginning. Yeah. You can't always look at the end. It worked really good for us. Lucy told you and Nicole told you, you know, like we weren't thinking state championship in the beginning. We were thinking about how, what can we do to be in the best shape? So a lot of it starts from us next year with arranging non-league matches. So that was one thing we didn't get to do this year. It always takes a lot of time. We want to try and make sure we see somebody from each league, you know, so who are we going to play out of the Chestnut American? Who are we going to play out of the Suburban uh, Continental? Who are we going to play out of the Central? You know, so a lot of that stuff as the coach, you know, you're just trying to build a schedule that challenges the kids and how are you going to do the tryouts and how's everything, you know, you start at the beginning. Um, It'll be interesting to see what the kids, what we come up with as our goal. Our goal had always been, you know, league championship and do something we've never done before. Um, but we accomplished, you know, one round of districts, two round of districts, district, you know, we accomplished, you know, six more things that we were expecting to kind of chip mm-hmm. away at it. And uh, these girls are so stinking good. They just did all of them all at once. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I, like I said, when I, you know, when I interviewed you a couple of weeks ago, you, you just said you're mostly happy, just the opportunity to play. So, you know, and said, obviously one of your goals was districts or excuse me, uh, you know, win the pack and, you went way, way beyond that. All right, so girls, rapid fire real quick. I'm going to ask you, what age did you start playing tennis? Because there's going to be some, uh, I'm sure, some young girls and, and this and that who think, oh, I'm going to try, I'm, I got I to try this. I mean, we got state champions. So, Alyssa, when did you start playing? What age? Go. Um, I started, like, really late. I was think, I think I was, like, 12, maybe. That's perfect. All right, Chloe, what about you? 
I was like around seven. Seven, Nicole? I started about a month before ninth grade tryouts. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, Lana. Get. I started when I was seven too. Seven, loose. Um, I played like a one league at Frog Hollow when I was like in sixth grade, but then I stopped <laughs> until ninth grade. That's up. Can you beat your mom? I don't know. It's a close one. Oh, there you go. All right. Alexis, what about you? Well, I started when I was like six or seven. Six or seven, Emily. Um, I've always kind of hit for fun when I was little, but <laughs> I guess I really started uh, freshman year. Beautiful. Mia. I was eight years old. When eight I years old. All right, Evelyn. I'd be like five or six. All right. And Isabel. Around six or seven. Oh, around six or seven. All right. So you guys are pretty close. All right. So my last question is this, and you could just, uh, you know, put your hands up for this. Um, and I, I thank you for joining me. But uh, how many of you, it probably hasn't hit you yet, but how many of you think that maybe in 20 years, 25 years, how sweet it's going to be when they call you all back and put you in the Springford Hall of Fame, you know, the athletic thing, and to see each other and to kind of relive this. If you guys, how many of you even thought about that? Probably none of you. None of you. But you're going to love it. I'm telling you. That's, that's going to be a cool thing when you guys get called back as, as state champions and things like that. Well, I thank everybody, coaches and girls. Again, congratulations on your state title, and thanks for joining me here on Game Time. So, hey, everybody out there, look at this. We got some seniors that are leaving, right? Girls, you can wave goodbye. They gave us everything they got. They gave us a state title. But we got some juniors, sophomores, and freshmen who can bring another one next year. So I appreciate everybody joining me. Thanks again, Coach Reagan. Stano, Coach Karen, thank you very much. And girls, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.